Hello and welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. Myself Kunal Chandora. Today we are going to understand what Leonard method of DC machine. In this video, we are going to study the speed control of separately excited DC shunt motor in both direction by what Leonard method. The panel we are using for this experiment has order code 46587. The panel we are using has DC voltmeter whose range is 0 to 300 volts and DC ammeter whose range is 0 to 2 ampere a DC vo AC voltmeter whose range is 0 to 500 volts three phase induction motor DC shunt generator DC shunt motor and auxiliary supply rear state 1 DC supply INT fixed 180 volts at 1 ampere and reversing switch this experiment we are using DC shunt motor of 375 watts and 0.5 horsepower and we are using DC shunt generator of 600 watts and 220 volts of output. Also we are using an AC squirrel cage induction motor of 750 watts and 1 horsepower. Now we are heading towards our experiment whose objective is speed control of separately excited DC shunt motor by Ward Leonard method. Now we are going to see the procedure of this experiment. First of all, make sure that earthing of your laboratory is proper and it is connected to the terminal provided on back side of the panel. Second, make sure that the three phase mains is off and the MCB of the panel is also off position. Connect R, Y and B terminal of three phase supply to three phase induction motor terminal R, Y, B. Voltmeter terminal V3 to terminal R and V4 terminal to terminal B. Terminal A and AA of DC shunt generator to terminal A and AA of DC shunt motor. The voltmeter in the circuit for this connect V1 and V2 to terminal A and AA of DC shunt generator. Terminal F of DC shunt generator to rear state 1, terminal R1 and FF to terminal R2. Insert the rear state terminals in the circuit for this connects R1, R2 and R3 of rear state 1. The three phase induction motor terminals RYB in the circuit for this connect RYB of three phase inductor motor DC shunt generator circuit. DC shunt motor terminal A, AA, F and FF to DC shunt motor circuit terminal A, AA, F and FF.
connect the DC shunt generator terminal A and AA to three phase induction motor DC shunt generator circuit terminal A and AA respectively. Similarly, connect the DC shunt generator terminal F and FF to three phase induction motor DC shunt generator circuit terminal F and FF respectively. Connect terminal reverse of FF of DC shunt motor and insert the emitter in the circuit for this connects A1 and A2 to red terminal of forward and F respectively. terminal R1 and R3 to DC supply. The DC supply to forward reversing switch. We complete our connections. Check all the connections as per the diagram before switch on the supply. Rheostat position should be minimum at the time of starting. Switch on the three phase mains if all the connections are right. The variable voltage across the terminals on generator or across the motor is obtained by varying the exciting current of the generator. Take number of readings by varying the rheostat position. Speed of motor should not be more than 2000 rpm and user can also change direction of motor with the help of reversing switch. When I slowly increase, the motor starts moving. At 180 AC volts, the DC emitter shows the reading of 0.17 or 0.18 ampere. Now we use tachometer to the desired RPM. The reading of tachometer at 0.18 if I want to reverse the direction of motor I have used this reversing switch to reverse position now you can see the motor starts rotating in reverse direction to take different readings i want to rotate the rear state you can see the voltage is increasing as i am decreasing the resistance of rear state and the motor speed is also increasing. Here we conclude our experiment Ward Leonard method of DC machine. In the video, please like, share, and subscribe.